The University of Tasmania have been uh, implementing Fologram in workshop scenarios, so building complex brick structures, building complex timber structures, and working with it in a fabrication environment. UTAS ran a workshop and invited uh, Colin and his team at Albrick to come and try out the headset on some of the tricky geometry that they were producing in the university. So we heard from the team at UTAS that they wanted to put the brickies to the test uh, on, this, on this complex fabrication project, uh, so we went down to see what they'd been up to. There isn't a single brick on there that lines up to anything. Every brick is different. This would take you like two weeks. Yeah. Fine guy, and a lot of that would have to be you know, made up. Do you know what I mean? You're not going to get it exactly like this would be. UTAS provided a design model, and Colin used Fologram to turn that into a holographic instruction set. This lets Colin see the outline and precise placement of every single brick in the wall. Aside from using Fologram as an instruction set, Colin was also able to use it to train his apprentices. So that's all the bricks, right? Yep. So see how you are here. That one's good. Yep. This one here shows it's got to come round. So just treat that like, like you do your string line all the way around. Mm -hmm. Hit that back. It took us two brick layers and it took us um, so two brick layers, um, about six and a half hours. The really exciting thing about this project is that now Colin and his team can approach architects and enable them to design more complex things knowing that he has the capability to build them. I was surprised by the accuracy and the fidelity to the digital model that Colin and his team were able to achieve. I'm really looking forward to seeing how Colin can work with architects to develop more complex structures that are even more challenging than this one and build them at a larger scale in permanent projects. I once seen a program on John Lennon, you know, and he reckons every song that he made, he used to think, he used to get scared. The I'm going to stop now because I'll never make anything better than that, you know. Mm. That, on that set, I'm thinking, <laughs> it's time to stop. I'm nervous that I can't make nothing better. <laughs>